Happy Friday, Northern Michigan. In this morning's Tech Matters, I'm joined once again by Tim Gillipin. Good morning, Holly. From Terrapin Networks. And this morning we're talking about tablets and desktops, and in this case, laptops. This one's kind of like a hybrid. Kind of, these are referred to as hybrids, yeah. And I think it's it's a great product to kind of showcase all these things. And this is the Lenovo Yoga. This is the Lenovo Yoga 2. It's their latest version of it. And these are called hybrids. They're kind of a mix between something like a tablet, like an iPad, mm -hmm. and a full-size laptop. Good, great for students, great for professionals, uh, largely to use as a second computer for meetings and so forth. The hybrids, a lot of the, the HP and Asus, Asus have some where the tablet actually pops off and these plugs don't. back in. This does not, this is where, that's where the yoga comes from. It's got all these different shapes it can do and you can still use it. It has a full Windows operating system and you can you can bring up a website we've got upnorthlive.com uh, on uh, on here right great now great website great website upnorthlive so here like this it's in a tent mode so you could be uh, sitting at your table watching, watching a movie right. or perhaps doing a sales presentation you might uh, bring up a, uh, oh any number of things that you might you know, powerpoint and you can use it as anything because mm -hmm. it flips around and it's it a flips tablet. around it also can flip around like so so you might be sitting at a uh, doing a lab and you might need to be able to see a, uh, a uh, presentation while you're doing it. Bring it back here, you're back to a laptop, to a laptop. where you can type like normal, and then flip it all the way back around, and you can actually carry it around like a tablet. So it's very versatile. Very versatile. When you do this, the keys actually are don't function, so they don't bother you. So now you've got a regular tablet you can use now. It's a little larger than an iPad, mm -hmm. but it has a little bit more to add that way for, cons for creating content. Right. And uh, if you're in a sales meeting, you're in a lecture, you're using something like Evernote, maybe um, Google Keep, you can record the lecture, take notes while you're doing it all at the same time. Yeah, it's, they have a lot of flexibility. Flexibility, that's great. And it's called the yoga, it's which kind of yoga, denotes. Which, that's their idea. Which kind exactly of denotes right. flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. And this is great because it works for people of all walks of technology, yeah. students, professionals, just your everyday person who very wants much. to have, you know, the cool gadgets. Yeah, very much. That's why we, that's why it's it's got a lot of value for all those different pieces. Absolutely. And it's called a hybrid. So this is kind yep. of for people maybe if you're having trouble deciding what's best for you. Yeah, because they're still nice and thin and light. So it's smaller than most laptops. This they do have this in two different sizes. This is the the 11 inch size. Okay. And then they also have a 13.3 inch, a little, a little bit little larger, a little more horsepower too, a little more a little better, more for the professional who might want to use it as a full time laptop. <clears throat> and in those, they have a backlit keyboard. Now those, the 13 inch with a little more horsepower can run up uh, $1,500 to $2,000 and spend real money on them. Sure. These start at about uh, $600-ish, $500-ish. Actually, oh, their lowest model is about 500, not much different than, a, than an iPad. And with a little more juice, a little more horsepower, pushing more like 1000 uh, eight, nine hundred dollars. And you can get it at a place like Best Buy. Get it at Best Buy, get it at Amazon.com or any most computer places at least have access to these. Uh, but especially the lower end ones are all available in stock usually at a Best Buy, at any of the big box stores like that, Staples, that kind of thing. Well, yeah. it looks like something that's very versatile, will work for a lot of people, and it looks like something that is great for security as well. Uh, very much so because it's got a full Windows operating system. You can do all the stuff that you would normally do to, to protect yourself that way. Uh, password managers, that kind of thing, all the stuff we've talked about in the past. So you can really use it as a business laptop or if you're a student, you're just not worrying about your stuff getting out there. Right. And because it has an operating system, a regular Windows operating system, it doesn't require the internet. Okay. So you can use it if you're offline. If you're b back studying someplace you, that you may not have an internet connection, you can still create papers and that kind of thing. Okay, so you aren't, you know, tied to you're that Wi-Fi. to the internet, exactly. All right, yeah. thank you so much, Tim Gillen from Thank Terrapin you. Networks.